What's up, YouTube world? <clears throat> Wanted to talk to you guys today about how if you're uh, if you're a vegan or if you like meat, I don't know if it really matters. Um, I think if you eat a well balanced diet, that's the important part. Um, use a doctor, use a nutritionist, uh, get as much information about uh, just eating well. Obviously not everybody can uh, have the ideal diet all the time, so sometimes you're going to eat um, maybe a salad at a fast food restaurant versus your ideal uh, super clean, super freaky uh, organic stuff from Whole Foods, you know, all the time. Um, can you do that? Some people can't afford it. Some people can't afford it. Some people don't know how to plan for it. Others know how to plan for it no matter the situation. Um, I think it's important to learn how to cook, uh, learn how to properly do all, you know as much as you can about the food you're going to eat. So if you don't know much about vegetables, learn what you can about vegetables, how they're grown, how they're taken care of, uh, and how they're brought to the market. Uh, same with meat. Um, learn how it's grown. Is it uh, corn fed? Is it this fed? Is it that fed? You know, um, what kind of steroids do they uh, give the meat? Uh, are they steroid free are they you know and maybe what part of the process do they become steroid free um, I believe it's the law that meat is supposed to come to or leave the farm steroid free so if that's said that just means that it's steroid free when it leaves the you know um, farm so, I, I guess the point of this video is in how I sit here and watch freely the banana girl or a bunch of the other uh, food vegans, then I listen to the other side. I listen to the other side to educate myself on what freely said, what uh, so-and-so said, what uh, the other person uh uh, with another food channel says I want to hear the different opinions about it because I don't always have time to read the latest medical journal the latest uh, fad oh well uh, South Beach diet or this diet or that diet uh, the Atkins diet that's like 15 years ago but still the, the idea is it was a diet. Is it still here? Yeah. It might be called by some other name. It's important to educate yourself as much as possible and just eat a well-balanced diet. Um, eat so many grains or, or carbs. Eat so many vegetables. Eat them raw if you can handle that. If you can't, uh, you know, um, steam or cook your, your, your food, you, you know. I mean, I'm not a doctor. I have to repeat this. I'm not a doctor, but I'm trying to educate myself as a as a novice, as a person that just wants to eat healthy. I, I work out in yards a lot. I uh, run a lawn care business. I don't always have all the time that I want to do everything I want to do correctly. I want to do it right. I want to make sure it's done right. You know, like if I'm mowing someone's yard, I want that done right. If uh, if I'm gonna go eat somewhere, I want it to be the healthiest possible. I mean, I might not be able to find a, a Jimmy John's that's nearby that has fresh vegetables and fruits. Uh, or I mean, vegetables to put on my uh, sandwich. But maybe there's a Subway. You know, what's the freshest place to go to get a healthy? Uh, food you know um, is it going to Wendy's because I know on Wendy's they put uh, tomatoes red onions 
and uh, pickles and, and things like that on, on the sandwich as well. So how can I get a balanced diet? Um, maybe not eating the french fries. Fries are tasty, but they're not maybe as healthy as we'd like them to be. Um, do I go to the grocery store and pay uh, $10 for uh, deli food, you know, just for lunch? Or do I go to Wendy's where I can get a meal or a couple uh, sandwiches for a certain price and get a drink, a bottle of water, you know, or, or water from the tap, you know? You know, what's, what's the healthiest solution, you know? Uh, it's really up to you what you can afford. But I think it's really important to educate ourselves about the food we eat. Um, don't take anyone's opinion on being a vegan or being a meat eater 100%. Check it out. Ask your doctor. Ask your nutritionist. Ask the um, – if you go to the gym and work out, ask the, the trainer. Say, hey, you know, what should I do? You know, get their opinion on it. Um, talk to your spiritual leader, a uh, religious leader. The Bible talks about kosher food. What is kosher food? Uh, how does it impact your diet? Um, what does God talk about? What What is our diet? Well, it's all in the Bible. Um, if, if the Bible is truly God's word and we're going to take it at face value, then what God wants us to eat and what our diet should be is in the Bible. But, uh, you know, you, you, you try to struggle with uh, all the decisions that we make. We, um, we don't always have time for, for that. And the Bible also talks about that as well. Um, I think it's important to, uh, as I, in closing, I, I think it's important to really eat the best diet as possible. Um, it's not going to be easy. Sometimes we're going to, you know, eat something that we shouldn't. But if we're eating, I'd say the majority of the time, a well balanced diet, life's going to be okay. We're going to live a long, healthy life, and, you know, we're going to see our children grow up, our grandchildren, and the rest will take care of itself. No matter if you eat meat or uh, vegetables, we're all going to die someday. Um, so, if you like the content of this uh, video, give it the big thumbs up. Like and subscribe, as always, and let's get to a 1,000 subs as soon as possible. Thanks again.